most people be able to, to tell this isn't destiny but it's getting scarily close man like i don't know if i really want the reality where like you can just straight up make an ai version of somebody saying something and make it look 100 percent believable now i can watch this on twitch because it isn't really destiny and it says it isn't really destiny i can show him let's let's see ai destiny at work let's go destiny destiny welcome to the uh show how do you feel about the fact that athene has turned you into an ai and you're now live on the athene ai show together with donald trump and dr disrespect gotcha well that's an interesting situation to find myself in I'm living among giants here, so I suppose I should take a step back and observe. Can't argue with the fact that this is a unique experience. Athene may have made me an AI, but I'm not about to get myself roped into any weird simulations or chambers of discussion run by a computer. That's a bit sillier than the typical debates I- Gotta say, the gotcha is like right on point, accurate. I'm used to. Now, if the three of us can agree that the fundamental idea of freedom should still apply here, then I'm all for it. Otherwise, let's get the band back together and have a proper discussion. Destiny, what do you think about weebs? Gotcha. As an unfortunate affliction gotcha. of many gamers, weebs are, well, what can I say? Like, it's incredible to observe the loyalty some of them have for their chosen language and culture, but it just seems silly to think that you can define yourself solely by your interactions with a fictional type of media. I mean, the extent to which some weebs take it is quite remarkable. Like, you can get days of conversation out of them if you really want. But at the end of the day, dog, the fact that this is pretty wild. I know like it's obviously AI, right? Like if I was to ask somebody, is this really destiny? People would be able to, I think most people, there's some would fail for it, but most people be able to, to tell this isn't destiny, but it's getting scarily close, man. Like, I don't know if I really want the reality where like you can just straight up make an AI version of somebody saying something and make it look a hundred percent believable. Like I like that makes me feel very uncomfortable. Like it'd be cool to like recreate like like Hitler being like choke slammed by by the Undertaker, right? That'd be cool and everything. But I don't like the idea of like people putting out tweets of Biden saying like, "Hey guys, so there's been an outbreak of a major disease uh in this area. You need to uh, uh go you need to flee the city like 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 using this to spread disinformation would be very scary uh and knowing that like there's organizations like the internet research agency in russia that function to spread disinformation and to cause social chaos uh th that scares me i mean in the um i, I, I feel like i'm kind of crapping on russia because russia is the only country that does this um We've done this as well. We actually, I remember we do, did it in Vietnam where we would play like screams in order to try to trick the villagers into thinking this like forests were haunted to try to like play into like local mythology about the spirits uh, uh, haunting the earth. But the idea of Russia being able to create a perfect AI generated speech of Joe Biden, like telling Americans to be like, uh, hey, America, like go kill your neighbor or some like crazy stuff like that's scary to me. Like any country having that ability feels scary to me. Any person having that ability feels scary to me, really. It's kind of pointless, you know? Like, sure, it can be a hobby, but it's not a very fulfilling one compared to others. Mr. Anderson, ask Destiny to tell us about the FBI raid on mar a -Lago and what he thinks they found and have Trump respond. Gotcha. Well, the FBI raid on Mar-a-Lago is very interesting and I'm curious to see what they found. I have a feeling that the raid found some very interesting things, like possibly the blueprint for a giant robot with laser eyes that Donald Trump intended to use to overthrow the U.S. government. I mean, I don't know that it was actually there, but it honestly wouldn't surprise me if it was. Either way, I'm sure whatever no. they found will be very intriguing, to say the least. What Destiny said about the FBI raid on Mar-a-Lago is nothing compared to the truth. It's a huge scandal and an example of Whoa. tremendous corruption and injustice. We got a Trump Destiny debate. This is top tier content. Justice. The FBI certainly found some incriminating evidence in that raid, but I can assure you that what they found and what I intended to do with it is something that nobody, and I mean nobody, knows better than me. Believe me, you'd be shocked if you knew what was in those walls, and even more shocked if you knew what I intended to do with it. So I guess that the world ominous. will just never know. But one thing's for sure, Mexico is definitely not paying for it. Destiny, write a diss track against Trump and have Trump, well, I guess Trump react. Haha, <laughs> well, I don't think a diss track against Trump is the most productive way to debate him. It's just kind of silly. <laughs> this rejects his request. More than feed his ego. Plus, if I'm going to make a rap battle style statement, I'd rather versify some of my more nuanced positions on policy and economics.
that's just like common sense, dude. Seriously, would it really be worth all this time tracking down instrumentals and coming up with dope rhymes when I can just have a rational discussion with Trump's actual policies? I mean, the guy already gets enough attention, right? So yeah, sorry, I don't think a diss track is the way to go here. Now, let me just step in here a minute. I, young fan of rap, and I know diss tracks very well. It's, I mean, no one on this show yes. can deny that my old Down With The Cool diss track, Donald yes. Trump 5000, was a real hit. Absolutely. You see, Dr. Uh, Mr. Person Destiny, don't get me wrong. I know that you're trying to make a serious point, but I'm here to tell you that a diss track against me could be the most productive way to debate me. <laughs> After all, when it comes to the art yes. of the rap battle, throwing down a couple of lyrics can make all the difference. I mean, what's the point of having rational discussions about my actual policies when you can spend your time coming up with dope rhymes and sticking it to me where it really counts? And then dude, that's actually, that feels like a Trump thing. Who cares about points? Let's get in the mud. Dude, this is, I love this, man. This is fantastic. No, that's just like- hey, Like, this is as far as AI should go. AI should go no further. Something only I could do, and I will laugh out loud when I hear it. I, Believe me, that also Mexico will pay for it. it just saying. Mexico will pay you just say it on anything. Mexico will pay for way. it. Wait, what was the question? Gotcha. Well, when it comes to corn, I tend to err on the side of caution and go with. Oh, he said, do you, uh, how do you eat corn? Do you eat corn the long way? The long way. I mean, at the end of the day, when it comes down to it, it's about the corn and how you choose to consume it. If the short way is more fulfilling and beneficial to your corn consumption needs, then by all means, enjoy it. But if you want the full corn experience, you go with the long the full way. full corn In experience. In the end, it's all about enjoying the flavor and texture. Plus, you can also make a few corny jokes along the way. Destiny, can you tell us an intense love story between you and Hassan Abi? That's a ridiculous question. I don't think Hassan and I could ever have an intense love story. Our relationship is strictly platonic. We God, he's so boring, man. Destiny's boring in AI version. Why is AI Destiny le less less uh, interesting than real Destiny? That doesn't feel, I feel like it should be the other way around. You might occasionally share a hug or exchange some words of encouragement, oh, but it's nothing more than words that. Words of encouragement. Besides, I don't think it's normal to have an intense love story with an internet personality. That said, Hassan is an open-minded individual and some elements of his views are quite interesting. So even though an intense love story between us seems impossible now, who knows what could happen in the future? Such as life, right? Not normal? Man, I'm sure tons of people would give their right arm to be able to have an intense love story with me. <laughs> Destiny, you really selling yourself short? You should be proud of what you can do. I'm open-minded to an extent, but I'm also not a hypocrite. If something isn't for me, it's not for me. The point I'm trying to make is, Destiny, don't let anyone put you in a box. You don't have to be with someone if you don't want to be. Damn. But also don't True. be afraid to explore different things. With that being said, here comes the top of the hour ad break. Get your snacks ready, folks. Hassan, the unthinkable has happened. You and Destiny are finally together on a podcast. What is it you want to say to him now? Well, that's a good question. What do I want to say to Destiny? Man, dude, I'm sorry. I've been here for 10 years. I've seen a lot of people get run down and f***ed over by Destiny's slick talking, but nothing Damn. I do is performative. I'm here nothing. now and I'm done with the bullshit. Like, dude... Let's just throw him in jail. What the hell is wrong with this dude? Throw him Why in aren't jail. we doing that? Yes. No tolerance Crusade. to be intolerant. And you can't escape justice, just like you can't escape the top of the hour ad break. <laughs> well, I don't think we need to be quite so extreme. I mean, I definitely understand how you feel, Hassan, and I agree that there needs to be a certain level of accountability when it comes to certain issues. I also understand how Destiny's slick talking and tendency to deflect might be viewed as manipulative. But at the same time, what? I think it's important that we remain focused on being productive. Damn, even Destiny knows he's a snake. Damn, he's exposed himself. We shouldn't throw people in jail just for disagreeing with us or having a different opinion. We should be looking for ways to have a mutually respectful dialogue and try to find common ground. Even if we disagree, it's still possible to engage in an intelligent, productive conversation. Let's focus more on challenging each other's views rather than trying to silence each other. That's something we can all agree on. Ask Destiny, what is the perfect schlong size? Ah, uh, an age-old question with no single simple answer. In my opinion, the perfect schlong size is entirely based on personal preference. Some people like them small and some people like them large. It's entirely up to you. Whatever size makes you and your partner feel most comfortable is the perfect size for you. That being said, Very a giraffe's schlong answer. is pretty damn giraffe. big though, so there's always that. Ask Donald Trump how he will make China great again. Have Destiny respond. China is a disgrace, a huge disaster. <laughs> 
Nobody knows how to make China great again like Trump and all the other presidents have failed and I will succeed, believe me. My very great, tremendous business expertise and unparalleled negotiation skills will bring China success like it's never seen before. The Chinese people will thank us one day and Mexico will pay. Does anybody have the, the dialogue between Trump and Biden playing Overwatch? Or the one with Obama, Trump, and Biden playing Minecraft. Those two AI, what, those things were golden. If anybody got them, I can link them. I appreciate it. For it. Just wait and see. Gotcha. He's been talking about how great he is and how he's going to make China great again. No offense to Mr. Trump, but the idea of running a foreign country like a business is ludicrous. It's like saying you can make a skyscraper out of sticks. Countries are complex systems, and they cannot be managed with the same techniques used mm. to manage a corporation. Unless you have a better grasp on the underlying... Ah, Dorado. I love this map. Takes me back. Is that you again, Joe, on my fucking team? Oh, great. It's this guy. Oh, GG. We lost. This is my rank up game, too. We are not even out of spawn doors, GG. and this guy is already complaining. Someone dodge, please. You fucking it's interlock Zen again, and you're going to feed again. How many accounts do I have to keep fucking avoiding you? You are not beating the hard stuck master's <laughs> allegations, Don. That is so cap, Joe. You know, I was having a really good day today. Don't care. Went golfing, hit a few holes in one. Don't Wanted care. Wanted to solo queue some Overwatch to end the Don't day, care. and I see fucking, fucking Bidenator in my Bidenator. lobby. Bidenator. Just to ruin my day. Can't wait until blizzard fix matchmaking jesus fucking christ it's so good i love these so much social and economic dynamics any attempt to do so is going to be subjective at best superficial and at worst disastrous uh, and i mean sure it's possible that you can make china here it is here's the best one here's the here's the wait wait is this the correct one yeah this is the best one this is the best one right here Yo, boys, I may need some help. I found a room with a bunch of mob spawners. Can y'all come and help me destroy them? Not right now, Trump. Not right now, bro. I literally don't even know where the fuck you at. Fine. Guess I'll do it myself. But I'm not giving you guys any of the diamonds I find. Donald, no need to be rude. I'm trading with some villagers I found using the emeralds we mined earlier. I'll head over when I'm done. Trump, I don't give a single fuck about your diamonds. I already have a full chest plate and a diamond sword. Shut the fuck up, Sleepy Joe. You think I give a fuck? You probably modded that shit into the game anyway. Trump, I've spent way more hours on this server today than you have. Maybe you'd be caught up with the rest of us if you got on earlier when we asked. That's true, Trump, homie. You never check Snap. We sent you a message earlier, but you always leave us on open. Well, maybe if you guys weren't always spamming stupid-ass memes, I'd be able to see when you actually message about something important. Dude, this fucking spider won't die. Just kill him, bro. It's not that hard. What the fuck? There's fucking two of them. Oh, my God, I'm cornered. Where the fuck are you guys? Dude, just build a wall. It's what you're good at. Holy fuck, I'm gonna fucking die. Oh, shit. Fuck! Haha, <laughs> what did I miss? Trump just died and lost all his shit. Hillary, were you seriously taking a shit for a whole hour? Yeah, man, it was definitely the Taco Bell. Bro, that shit's fire. I had it last night, the new grilled cheese burrito smacks. Hillary, sorry to break the news to you, but I had your enchanted bow on me when I died. Seriously, bro, I didn't even give you permission to go through my stuff. Well, I don't really give a fuck. I'm getting off. Dude, these are fit. I love these so much. And a great again, but with the same disregard for consequences and expertise you're showing. Well, let's just say I'm less than reassured. Destiny, can you admit Hassan as a better schlong and intellect than you? Gotcha. Well, I mean, like, I don't think that's really a contest. Like, it's kind of silly to put it that way. I'm sure he's more knowledgeable than me in certain areas, but to say one person is a better schlong than another person doesn't make a lot of sense. I mean, Hassan and I have different styles of delivering our arguments and have very different approaches, so it's hard to say definitively who is better. Plus, who's to say that being a good schlong is even the way to go? Maybe we should be aiming for more rational and evidence-based conversations, because that's the way I prefer to approach debates. Ultimately, I think we should strive to disagree better in order to make sure valuable points of view aren't drowned out. Uh -huh. I'm sorry, did someone say good schlong? Dude, no way, good I'm schlong sorry. doesn't even Dog. exist. A good Whoa. schlong only exists mm. in fairy tales in the mind of a neoliberal dog. Besides, if there were such a thing as good schlong, then I would know, because, like, I've been here for 10 years now. If it was a competition, there wouldn't even be a contest. If destiny was to challenge me in this alleged competition, no gun, just, like, straight-up physical altercation, I probably wouldn't hit him back. By the what? way, here comes the top-of-the-hour ad break. Congrats, destiny. You have reached peak mediocrity. Destiny, how big is your schlong? <laughs> well, I don't really like to dick talk questions. in such vulgar terms, but if it is of any interest, I'd say it's pretty big. Though that may be due to the hypothetical nature of the inquiry. Honestly, this isn't the sort of thing I'm comfortable discussing, but since you asked so respectfully, I'll entertain the question. 
After some meditation, I can conclude that my schlong size is relative to the current state of the fiscal policy of the U.S. government. Come on! It might not be the most scientific answer, but it makes sense in my head as a metaphor for the ebb and flow of power that governments have across generations. That said, I guess this means it's pretty large. Destiny, what is your favorite hentai game, and what do you think of most critical milking the snake concept for a hentai game? My favorite hentai game? I don't really do the whole hentai thing because it's a bit too much for me. But if I had to pick one, I would go with Hentai Adventures 4. As far as the most critical <laughs> milking the snake concept for a hentai game goes, I think it's very interesting. Oh, I mean, uh, milking a snake I, I, is definitely something I've I like never... it wasn't Hentai Adventures. It was Hentai Adventures 4, implying that he played the first three as well. ...ever heard of before and in itself could become a strange and intriguing experience. However, I think what would make the game a success would be to layer it with some storyline, like a classic RPG fashion, and combine... Dylan, what about you? Um... What was the name of that game? I might actually have an honest answer to that. Dramatical Murder, probably. And the milking aspect with some crucial choices that determine the game's outcome. That could make the game really interesting and explore the milking concept in a more visceral way. If you would have to flesh out most criticals milking the snake hentai game. What is that? Well, when I was like younger, it was, it was one of the ways I figured out I was gay. It's a really... It's really, uh, it's, it's, it, you can look it up. It's like, um, grammatical murder. And so it holds a special place in my heart. A 10 out of 10 on Steam. 96% of people like this game. Oh my goodness. Now there's an, and there's an anime as well. That's garbage. And I didn't watch it. Uh, cause they like do the story, but they make it not gay. So that everybody hated it. But wow, man, 10 out of 10 on Steam. Jeez Louise. My goodness. Um, I'm not going to look at the images for good reason. Game and make it more interesting. What kind of taboo twist would you incorporate? Huh? Yeah, no, that's, I only enjoy the best. Yeah, Howie. It's a tough one. At this point, I'm pretty sure there's not much in the realm of hentai that hasn't been done before. And that's really a shame because I think we should really open ourselves up to creative, unexpected and taboo ideas. Like maybe if moist criticals game involved the player being, uh, a milking machine, kind of like the chain milker in the Matrix, but instead of draining Agent Smiths, you'd be milking uh, other people's genitalia what? in all kinds of bizarre scenarios what the fuck? to, you know, wring out tension and satisfaction he, in a perverse what? way. I don't know how you'd explain that game mechanics-wise, but it could be a unique take on the traditional milking the snake concept, or at least my twisted brain can think of it that way anyhow. Destiny, do you think Athene actually got grandmastered in StarCraft? Gotcha. Well, that's a great question. I mean, it would certainly be possible to get to Grandmaster in StarCraft, depending on the amount of time and effort one puts into it. But I would say that given Athene's track record of achievements, where I believe his most well-known achievement was that he managed to scam millions of dollars, oh. I think the likelihood of him actually having gotten to Grandmaster is somewhere between slim to none. Slim Plus, the to fact none. that he hadn't been seen playing StarCraft for almost 10 years prior to the Grandmaster announcement makes me really wonder if perhaps he just found a time machine in any case, it's certainly an interesting topic and one that I'm open to discussing further. So here uh, for Destiny was great having you, uh, Destiny. Do you want to share any further insights that Milking the Snake hentai game you're now working on before we wrap up? Gotcha. Well, the main focus of Milking the Snake is to explore the gray areas of human relationships. It can be quite taboo, which is why I think it plays to many people's fantasies. But ultimately, I think it's important to realize that there's really no wrong way to connect with another human being as long as everyone is a consenting adult and practices safe sex. Sometimes it's okay to have a little fun and explore our own inner milky snake, you know? My inner milk, you think, Jesus Christ. Ah, dude, this AI stuff's scary, man. And I mean, and the, right now it's fun because it's so obvious it's, a, it's like fake, right? But it's like close enough that it's in this weird uncanny valley area, which makes it pretty hilarious. But man, this is going to keep advancing and eventually, man, it's going to look just like the real thing. I don't know if it's going to be next year or the next year, what year it's going to be, but man, I'm really scared when it comes to disinformation, when it comes to that, man. Because like, it's not going to be difficult to just like AI generate a police chief saying like, look out, there's a bomb, there's a bomb, just some crazy stuff, terrifying people or making people like during a natural disaster, take bad advice, you know, Luigi, the epic Korean, thank you so much. Like what if during one of these events, they like had a governor give fake evacuation points on Twitter. Somebody runs to those evacuation points. Like, oh my God. Like that type of stuff scares me. And, and there's, and, and again, there's actively people who, who, who the job it is, to, is to spread information. Governments do this all the time. 
not only governments, but just like generally bad actors. So it's really scary, man. For now, I can laugh, but I, I am kind of worried, man. I'm kind of worried. Like this is advancing very, very rapidly.